Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to beat the unidentified Nightiba in Stellar Blade. So this is a very challenging boss fight and it's going to take roughly 4 or 5 minutes for you to take this down. Now the strategy here is to take it out of its attacks with its stun the stun lock attack here. So whenever you use your triplet attack to be upgraded, I would recommend having the upgrade for this battle because it really helps out with the stagger that you can bring from it. Although some of the others do have staggers too. Now the biggest strategy here is to save up your heals for the later phase of the fight because he has some really tough and very hard hitting attacks later on so if you, I find that if you're having a run that's not going too well just focus on parrying and don't attack you'll get the defensive timing down for this fight so again if you're struggling with it I would recommend just doing a couple runs where you just defend against it to get the timing down pat I find that's a pretty good strategy for any of these fights in Cellar Blade because the parry timing is not always the easiest to get as well as the dodge timing too now, unfortunately there as you can see that if you do the dodge attack there sometimes it won't even land on the unidentified Nativa so very challenging fight, but Triplet pays off a lot here. I also really like the Overdrive Beta Burst Energy spell, because that can give you extra damage and attack speed, which is extremely useful here, as, uh, yeah, you're not going to chip away its health very quickly. This is a long, drawn-out fight, and into the second phase, it has some one-hit kill attacks, so you do have to watch out for those, because it's no fun going through this entire fight and then get taken out so it's charging up one of the attacks here that you're going to be seeing throughout the second and third phase quite often it's frustrating because it's going to do this attack that we just saw there at the same time that it's doing some other attacks too that you have to take care of and shoot so yeah definitely a challenging one but uh the triplet or yeah triplet quadruplet attack there very effective for breaking it out of stagger and dealing a good amount of damage also be mindful of the posture bar like we have it down at the bottom or, yeah the bottom there the yellow bar we have it about half done now every time that you're pairing you're going to be breaking that down and also you can upgrade the triplet to take down another one there as you saw so work towards breaking this down as much as you can because that'll give you a huge chunk out of its health bar and that makes this fight a whole lot easier now this is the particular attack that can one shot you so be mindful that there's going to be uh, little spells coming towards you there too so even if you're shooting at these areas here you got other things to worry about now this laser beam attack is also quite frustrating to deal with it's going to come through and raise there but afterwards he's going to be down so you can go in and get your critical hit off which does a good chunk of its health and makes this fight a whole lot quicker so that's really what you want to be working towards because it's going to make this fight a lot easier we have the overdrive here now and i am saving the taki mode here it's very useful in this fight but it's almost better to save it for a good attempt where you're getting it down to its final phase and you just want to burst its health away now as you can see its attacks are a lot quicker now so that's another thing we have to take care of is ensuring we don't get killed by those but uh it does have some attacks where it's going to jump around like that and it's kind of hard because it's going to counter our counters as you saw there so dodging seems to be the way to go for a lot of these attacks but it's hard to get your own hits in too especially the camera here is probably the hardest part i was fighting this on stream and i did not have the greatest time with the camera angle in this fight in particular but uh yeah, the best strategy to use is to um, stick pretty close to this enemy because it has some really devastating long-range attacks, but it's also very fast in the close range. So get good at parrying its attacks as best you can with, with practice. As I said, it's good to go through and do a few of these without even attacking. Don't be afraid to use your items as well. You have multiple different types of heals and grenades here. The stun grenade can knock it down, which is great for getting some more extra hits in, just like that. So you should be able to get a couple hits and you can use your burst energy to do an overdrive for faster attack speed and higher damage. That's one of the best strategies that i found. But here is the annoying attack where it does the multiple balls that you have to destroy with your gun. So make sure that you bring some ammunition because this is a definitely tricky one to deal with. But yeah, after you shoot those all down, you'll be able to take some hits again at the unidentified Nativa. I really like that because it makes its health a lot go down a lot quicker. But we're down to the home stretch here. This is all about going as hard as you can. So that's why I thought it was best to bring up the Taki mode here. And I really like the L plus triangle attack. I find that to be one of the more damaging ones. Typically in Taki mode, you don't get attacked too much, but this one's pretty intense. So using those that spell over and over again can be pretty good to get your last few hits off. And that's how you beat the unidentified Nativa in Stellar Blade. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below.